Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com, big surprise, and today we're looking at Privacy Repair, another one of those Windows 10 anti-spy. If you're skimming videos looking for the best one, I will cover briefly the pros and cons while we sniff around here so you can get out of the video if you've got other things to look at. What I don't see here is any sort of backup, not even a warning for you to do a system restore, nothing. So once you run this thing, you're kind of got yourself a problem. So. I have already enabled all recommended options. This is what you could do right here. However, if you don't run as administrator, a lot of stuff is blocked off. So you have two choices, restart as administrator, or the first time you run the app, just right click on it and choose run as administrator. And that'll save you the trouble and give you access to everything. So that's another plus to this program because he's blocking access to stuff that might get you in trouble so I have all enabled I actually checked another one playing around with it and it saved at 52 out of 58 so you can go through here and just take a look after you've enabled everything which is 52 of 58 find a couple that are not done if you know what they are and want to use them go ahead and double check the stuff in red if you enable all make sure you know what it's doing uh, for example if you don't know Wi-Fi sense you can google it but if I remember right Wi-Fi sense is Windows ability to find wireless hotspots so hopefully that's right and again you just want to kind of look through it now the store apps one of the things I kinda of like about this for the most part I don't see it it does warn you to limit access However, what it doesn't have on here that I've seen on other ones and don't like is the ability to delete a lot of the stuff like the Xbox, Cortana, stuff like that. That is a problem you run into with quite a few of the other apps where you remove all of them. And even though people are warned in big letters and red letters, don't do it, you can't get it back. I start seeing people saying, how do I get Cortana back? You don't. Uh, when these things take them out, they're gone. You either have to reinstall Windows to get it back. You can't just download these things same with like the Xbox different stuff like that so this has an interesting twist if I've got it right it will allow you to prevent apps from accessing different things so instead of removing camera you just prevent apps from accessing it so hopefully if I got it right that means that the camera for example we use that is still there you didn't remove it here's your Cortana disable suggestions do not search the web do not let search of Cortana access block search in Cortana and firewall. So once again, it's not going to take Cortana out. So that's a big plus to this program, in my opinion, because it does something a little bit differently than the other ones do by actually blocking access as opposed to removing it. The Edge and Internet Explorer, you're not using that, are you? Yeah. Windows Media Player. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I don't know about you. I use VLC. I know everybody's got their personal favorites the biggest problem with it and the author's active on our page so I suspect he'll be watching this video is no way to back up and there's also no way to come back to where you are for example see you got the all recommended options that's it there's no way to come back so what we need here is an ability to go back to perhaps default and again that would tie into say some sort of backup to the system that tracks everything you've checked and unchecked otherwise since you don't know because you collect you clicked enable all recommended options essentially you don't know what was on or what wasn't so you can kind of guess that a lot of the stuff in red wasn't but it's going to take you a little bit to do this go to the next section do it again and then read them make sure you get you see what I'm saying so hopefully he'll work on a little bit of a backup and I think he'd have a uh, one of the top utilities in the Windows 10 privacy utilities so there's your pros there's your cons thanks for watching take a second and subscribe that would be cool and we'll see you next time